Now we're doing question three. Question three says, if a metal seven times the density of water is placed in water, which of the following things will not happen? Okay, which of the following things will not happen? So A, it will sink in water. B, it will displace an amount of water equal to its volume. C, it will displace a mass of water equal to its mass. D, its apparent weight in water will be less than its actual weight. So which of these will not happen? Well, this covers the topic of objects that are denser than a fluid, denser than water in this case. What's going to happen? Well, we know when you put an object <clears throat> Let's say you have water and you put an object in water. If it's denser than water, it will sink in water, right? What's going to happen? Well, it will displace a volume of water equal to its own volume because all of it is submerged inside of the water. So if you literally had the water completely full to the top, what's going to happen? The water will spill. Or the other way you can do this is if you don't want it to spill from all the sides, you can have a cup completely full, then you can have a spout over here, and then when you place the object, the water rises, right, the water rises, and then starts to spill from here, and then you can collect the water over here, right? <clears throat> so what's going to be the volume of that water that is spilled? It's going to equal to the volume of the object, right? Because all of it is submerged. So this is V, this is also V. Now, which of these two will weigh more? Will this weigh more, the water, or will the object weigh more? They have the same volume, remember. Which one will weigh more? Well, the premise is that the density of the object is greater than the density of the water, right? So if you have same volume of water, which one weighs more? The object, right? So if this has a mass of, let's say, uh, 50 grams, this might have a mass of maybe, let's say, 10 grams, 15 grams. It all depends on the density. You know, let's say 10 grams. Why? Because the ratio of their density would be what? One in five, right? The same volume of water has, 10, uh, has five times less amount of mass. If the mass of this is 50, the mass of this is 10, right? So what's going to happen? Well, that water that was displaced, okay, the buoyant force on the object and its own mass, its, its uh, mass is 50 grams, right? If I wanted to know its weight, what would I do? Well, I would convert the 50 grams to kilogram. I would multiply by 9.8. But right now, forget about changing the units to newtons, right? Just worry about its mass. If its mass is 50, what's the buoyant force on the object? Well, according to Archimedes' principle, the buoyant force on the object is equal to the mass of the displaced amount of water, right? 10 grams, right? So what's going to be the uh, apparent mass of the object? Well, it's now going to feel like it's only a 40 gram object, right? 40 grams. Why? 50 minus 10, right? So the apparent mass of the object is going to change. So according to this, it will sink in water? Yes. It will displace an amount of water equal to its own volume? Yes. It will displace a mass of water equal to its own mass? No. The mass is less, right? C, it's not a possibility. Its apparent weight in water will be less than its actual weight. That's true, okay? So C is the answer. As a matter of fact, in this case, what's going to happen? Well, since it's seven times the density of water, right? Let's say its mass was, um, just for the sake of argument, 42 grams, right? It is, since it is seven times denser than water, an equal volume of water is going to have how much mass? 42 divided by seven, right? So it's going to have a mass of six grams. Exactly six grams. So if its mass is 42 grams 
and the buoyant force on the object is six grams, right? So what is it's gonna be a apparent mass? What is it gonna feel like in water? 42 minus six, which is equal to 36 grams. So that could be a quick question too. He could have said, if a metal is seven times the density of water is placed in water, and if its mass is 42 grams, what is it's gonna be a, a, its apparent mass? Well, you do 42, you divide that by seven, you get six. 42 minus six, you get 36. It's gonna feel 36 grams, okay? So the answer to this question is C. Thank you.